Now, as most of you will know, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I'm a bit fanatical about washing my coach and keeping it clean. And we stumbled across a product about 18 months ago, um, which basically gave us a spot-free water because, you know, these coaches, a lot, of, a lot of RVs have a lot of black and a lot of dark colors. So all of the, the white spots, all the impurities in water, when they dry, leave these horrible white spots all over the coach. And you notice it more on dark colors and also glass. So when most of the coaches now have black windows. So we, um, we've done some, a lot of research on trying to find a product which will uh, mean you can wash your coach with ease and leave it completely spot free. This product I've been using for, for about 18 months and on the you have two big blue outer cartridges with a smaller cartridge inside which is filled up with uh, deionized resin and basically the water passes in here through the cartridge and what comes out is 100% deionized water fantastic absolutely brilliant when you wash your coach with this you just can't believe it it is it's mind-blowing and everybody that's bought one of these on our recommendation just say absolutely amazing why didn't i know about it years ago but there's a downfall with this product and the downfall is after about three or four washes of a 40 45 foot rv your resin's gone and at 90 dollars to refill it you know it's working out 30, no, 20 to 30 dollars a wash um, and we had loads of people saying to us, well, there must be a better way. So we've, we've done the research and it's taken us six months to come up with a product that has a better yield of deionized resin, uh, deionized water, you know, for the same amount of resin. So I want to talk to you first about this product. It may initially look larger because probably the color, but if you actually compare it, to the system, the, the other spotless system, you can see it's two thirds of the size. Now we've compared this laying down in our bay lockers and it takes up so much less room than this product on the, on the trolley. So I'll just show you how it works. First of all, a great feature is the bypass valves. On this system, as you can see, you put one hose in, one hose out, and when you want to rinse your coach before you wash, you simply bypass the water. So the water's now not going through the resin, it's actually going straight through, so you can pre-rinse your coach, wash your coach, and then you simply flick those back, and you're back onto using the deionized resin. This product, will contain one whole bag that's one cubic foot of deionized resin and one cubic foot of deionized resin now all of that will go in here one cubic foot will produce wait for this four thousand gallons of deionized water or put it in layman's terms 40 washes of your rv this product which is a spotless water product, will produce 400 gallons. So to compare the two, the same, if you use the same amount of resin, one cubic foot in this, that's three refills of the cartridges, this will only produce you 1200 gallons of deionized water. The same amount of resin in this product will produce 4,000 gallons and I want to explain the difference in the two systems. First of all, I'm just going to show you what's inside this product. Now, you're probably only going to refill this probably less than once a year. I would imagine once every 18 months, depending on how often you wash your, your, your coach. You basically fill you fill the, uh, the reservoir completely up with one cubic foot of deionized resin. Notice the way that the product is delivered. It's through micro slots in this tube. 
and basically that means the whole of the resin is soaked in water and the only way out for that deionized water is through those micro slots in this tube. So once you've filled this up with resin, you simply screw that on, put your valves on and you're good to go. Now I'll just show you something very quickly which is <laughs> very simple but really good. You get this funnel with it to fill up the resin so it doesn't go all over the floor which is really simple and if you've ever tried to refill one of your resin cartridges you'll know you spill you, sp you spill most of it over the floor so it's a it's a great i thought it was a hat first of all but uh, clearly it wasn't although if i've had enough to drink one night it probably will turn into a hat so basically you fill up your your cartridge you put your tube in the middle do this up nice and tight Put your valves back on, very easy to do. You just push and, and turn. So you, they've got a quick, a quick thread. And that's it. Now, once this product's been used, as with our previous product, so once you've used this and it's got water, just get yourself a couple of these little blanking uh, joints which you get from Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware and just just pop them on the end. This product cost about $50 more than this product. This will produce with it you get all the valves, the container, one cubic foot of resin, you also get a, uh, a TDS meter to uh, to monitor the quality of water coming out and it will produce 4,000 gallons of deionized water. So, but what about all the people that have already bought one of these machines? I mean, what are they, you know, what are they supposed to do? Are they supposed to throw it away and then invest in another one? No. This company make a conversion kit to make this product so much more effective, so much more efficient, so you actually get more deionized water from the same machine. I'll explain how and why. The problem with this machine is twofold. One, the cartridges don't hold much resin because you know there's a lot of space in between the, the inner cartridge and the outer cartridge. Two, the seal at the top, this seal at the top, once this is pumped up with water, it distorts. And what basically happens is it mixes the deionized water that's just been purified with the incoming water. So what comes out the other end is actually water with impurities. That's why this metal ring is in place. To try and prevent this from moving, to stop this seal being distorted. But of course, we all lay these down. And as you lay them down, as you lay these down, they do move. This seal does move because with water and the bouncing around of an RV, this moves. And that contributes to the fact that you don't get a very good yield. This machine will only produce 400 gallons of deionized water. That's four washes. I mean, that, I mean, it's just not efficient. So with the new system that I'm going to show you now, we'll make this machine as efficient as the new machine. So you don't have to replace it for a new product. You can, you can simply convert it. I'm going to show you how to convert your inefficient spotless machine to a very efficient deionized water system. It's um, very easy, very cheap. First of all, remove the old inefficient cartridge. These are actually made for um, water softening, not, not for deionized water. With a, you're just left with a empty blue cartridge. Get your blue funnel. And start filling You know that's brilliant. I've not spilt, not spilt a drop, apart from then. So it's 
not the funnel, it's the fault. <laughs> it's, the, it's the guy using it. Right, so. So I've basically put my resin directly into the cartridge. You get one of the two conversion tubes. There's one tube per cartridge and simply poke it in to the resin like so. Yeah? Then pull it out enough so you can get hold of it. Place the cartridge in place and push the tube up into the housing. Once the tube is pushed up into the housing, you simply lift and screw up. And that's it. Obviously, you do the same here. And that, believe it or not, well, well first of all, it's got, it's got a lot more resin in than, than the cartridge. So it's bound to yield more water. But using, using one cubic foot of resin, you'll get 4,000 uh, 4, gallons of water, deionized water, using your old spotless machine, but only if you use a conversion kit. Now, if you want to get hold of this conversion kit, it's on the website below and also at the end of this video. You've just seen me do it. We haven't stopped the camera. It took five minutes. So that's how long it's going to take you to convert it. If, however, you prefer the new machine, then you can buy the new machine. It comes with a bag of one cubic foot of resin, it comes with the funnel, and you will put the whole quantity in here. In fact, I'll do that now, just so you can, you can see. So you take the tube out. I'll try not to drop it over the floor this time. And just while I'm filling this, I'll just tell you, if you have any resin from the previous machine, you can mix these, you can mix these resins. They are all completely compatible because they're, they're identical product. Right, so there you have it. One cubic foot of resin. So just to show you the difference of, even though it looks bigger, how much less space it takes. This is my spotless machine, which is how I transit with this machine. I push it up against this wall and we lay it flat. And what I've done is I've put a piece of black Velcro, just so you can see that's exactly the line that it takes up. So I'm now gonna take this machine out and put the, the new system in its place. And I think that speaks for itself. It takes up a lot less room. All I should do is just fix a little bracket at the bottom and a little bracket on the wall and actually use the Velcro strap just to secure it so it doesn't roll around. So not only is it takes up only two thirds of the space, it actually produces 10 times the volume of water. So it's a bit of a win-win situation. So, you know, it's a good product. We like to find new products. We like to save space. And more, more importantly, we like to save money. One last thing, it also comes with a TDS meter, a proper accurate TDS meter. And this is used for, it stands for total dissolved solids. So you can actually test the water that's coming out. So if in a year's time you think, well, I wonder, I wonder if my resin actually needs changing. Just pour a small, a small amount of the water from the 
output into a small jug or a cup, dip the meter in, get a reading, and if it's still on zero, then you're good. So, as I say, hope you've enjoyed the videos and do let me know if you have any questions and uh, get yourself a conversion kit. Uh, if you haven't got one, order a new system. Well, darling, it's f***ing difficult. <laughs> well, can you come and put... If it didn't help me, bag sprung a f***ing leak. Oh, yes. Hey? I said I was recording.